What is up everybody, White Lighting HWD here, coming at you with sneak peek number four. This one's actually a very, very exciting one, and I'm very, very excited to uh, bring you guys this video. And uh, the gameplay shown in this video is provided by, uh, by Daddy. So big shout out to Daddy, the YouTuber. He did give permission to all the other YouTubers to use any of his footage that he got from Supercell. So a uh, big thank you to Daddy, and a uh, big shout out to him. So let's get into it. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is Save Layouts. Finally, right? We've been asking for this forever. So you can make a layout, right? You can make a base layout, and then you can just save it. And then you can have that layout and use it later whenever you want. Uh, and you can also edit inactive layouts at any time. So if you have a base, like a trophy pushing base, and you're currently farming, you can go and edit that trophy pushing base, but you don't have to, like, you know, equip it, and, and, per se. So uh, I think that's an awesome feature, and uh, I'm really looking forward to being able to do that since I might be trophy bushing coming up here and I do want to test out a couple of different layouts so uh, <coughs> this is an awesome feature and I'm very very glad that they put it in so uh, alright what's next level 7 giants okay so they cost 7 million elixir for the upgrade and uh, they're, they're, they're tanks I gotta say so level 7 giants are coming up finally um, I was kind of expecting that and um, well I think we all were especially once we read the list but I think what Town Hall 9s have level seven, right? I'm not actually, I'm not, I'm not sure. Or level seven, Town Hall 9s have level sixes, I think, along with Town. Hall 10. I don't know. I don't know the giant upgrades because I've never used giants in my life. So uh, <laughs> this update's not extremely, or this part of the update is not extremely appealing to me because I just don't use them and I've never used them. But for all you giant users out there, uh, you got a level seven one coming your way. So I hope you guys are excited for that. All right, there's a new level icon next to the troop. So basically, uh, like. You know how there was like stars, like the, the amount of stars uh, on the troop is what level it was. Well, now there's the actual number and like a little box in the corner. So it's a lot better, a lot. You can really distinguish the, it's like it's like the heroes. Like the heroes have uh, their level number kind of in the corner. That's what that's what it's like for every troop now. So it's a lot easier to distinguish uh, what level uh, what troop is. And all right, hero ability icons will now show remaining hit points and start flashing when they get low. So uh, when you're in attack and you have like, and this is this is for my trophy pushers or clan war attackers out there that use Go Wee Wee or Go Wipe, or Go Wee Wipe or any of those combinations of Go and Wee and Wipe and whatnot. Uh, you know, when when your heroes or your king especially is kind of like in the middle of the base, you know, rage spells, free spells are down. Uh, there's you know troops going crazy and it's just nuts, right? Uh, you can't really like tell what your king's health is at some of the time So you'll be able to see like where his health is at and where your queen's health is at uh, in your little attack bar or your troop bar uh, On their icons which would be extremely helpful because I know that I've had several times where my kings just died Because I cannot see what you know how much health he has because there's just so much shit going on in the middle of the base But that's a cool feature. I'm really liking that uh, very glad they put that in and uh, Compare your clan to other clans using the local leaderboard. So I guess you know whatever state or country or whatever you have your clan set to you can now compare them to each other but I don't think anybody <laughs> really like puts their clans uh, location to where they actually are because most clans are international like whether they try to be international or not you know uh, I know that <laughs> Dolphin Stars is set to Virgin Islands when I first saw that it was set to Virgin Islands I thought that was the funniest shit ever so uh, Dolphin Stars is set to Virgin Islands I hope they are still because it's probably like the funniest thing ever so but like you know, obviously, no, I don't think anybody in Dolphin Stars is from the Virgin Islands, but uh, it's just, you know, that I guess that's a cool feature. Uh, it is a cool feature if people were to, you know, use the, the location, right, which nobody does, but uh, it's definitely a good feature. So I'm really liking this sneak peek. Uh, they're, they're really taking a lot of the things uh, that we actually asked for and actually put them in the update this time, which is awesome to see uh, because, you know, past updates have just been, like, nothing that we've ever asked for except for Clan Wars. Uh, but it's awesome to see this update that they're actually taking stuff that we want and we've been asking for. And I'm very, very excited for this update to come out, hopefully by this Friday. So if you guys enjoy this video, you guys are as equally excited as I am for this update. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out all the links in the description of the video. And that is it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I'm passing notes to all the pretty girls in class still They never reply, but never say never They never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind Measure my effort and skill gets better in time Fresher than ever and I am who I am No taking it back, I'm alive and well, well What I do, my name is unimportant But what I say is quite amazing I hope you enjoy it I put my